Welcome. In this video, we will discuss imagers and cameras. Let's start out by discussing various types of video display resolutions. A few common resolution types are 480p, 720p, and 1080p, as well as 480i, 720i, and 1080i. The numbers represent the number of horizontal lines that create the image, whereas the letters describe the type of scan used to display the image, either progressive or interlaced. Progressive scanning is a format of displaying images in which all the lines of each frame are drawn in sequence. In contrast, interlaced scanning is a technique where every other line is updated. 1080p provides a clearer and smoother image than 1080i, and in general, the higher the resolution, the sharper the picture will be. Another common term is pixel count. Pixel count is the product of the number of rows and the number of columns. As an example, a 1080 display has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, so it provides an image with 2.07 million pixels, or simply 2 megapixels. Cameras come in a variety of flavors. A few examples include the compact digital camera, the DSLR, or digital SLR camera, action cameras, and more recently, the 360 degree camera. Compact digital cameras, also known as point and shoot cameras, are the most user friendly of all camera types. Small and light, these cameras do all the hard work of automatically adjusting their settings to deliver well-exposed photos every time. DSLR cameras take photos to the next level of image quality. These more advanced cameras are best known for delivering extremely sharp and spectacular images. They have advanced sensors, manual settings, and a wide range of interchangeable lenses. Action cameras, like the GoPro, can fit in the palm of your hand, and yet are some of the most robust and versatile types of digital cameras that offer very high resolution output. These cameras have a wide range of accessories like waterproof housing and mounts, which allow users to attach these cameras to helmets, bicycles, and even drones, allowing for hands-free shooting in numerous types of situations. 360 degree cameras, also known as omnidirectional cameras, can take half dome to full circle panoramic photos and videos. Similar to action cameras, some 360 degree cameras are also water resistant and mountable on many surfaces. They're designed to take realistic pictures and videos with stunning panoramic views. Besides the daylight camera, which is more commonly known as the normal camera, there are also night vision cameras. Think of those greenish pictures that we see in movies and on TV, which come from night vision goggles. And there are thermal imaging cameras, which technically aren't cameras at all, but are really sensors. Forward-looking infrared or flare cameras are typically used on military and civilian aircraft. For today's demonstration, I'll be using Adafruit's Mini Spy Camera. This camera is capable of taking both photos and videos. The camera module is mounted on a flex board. The design has a single IC and then a voltage regulator and battery charger. It also has a microphone right here, although a low quality one. It has a micro SD card slot and a rather odd looking uh, USB type connector here. It also comes with this USB cable, so it mates up to that odd looking uh, USB type connector. And um, obviously I've modified this module, the spy camera kit a bit by adding these wires here. Um, the switch here is connected between the white wire and ground. So when I depress the switch for less than a half a second, uh, the white wire is grounded and a photo is taken. And when I depress the switch for more than a half a second and release, the camera starts taking a video. Grounding the wire again stops the video recording. So right now I'm gonna take the memory card and put in the module. And then I will power up the board it operates between 3.7 volts and 5 volts, and I'm powering it with 4 volts. As you can see, an LED lights up there. And when I take a picture, uh, another LED will blink momentarily. I'll take another picture here, so it blinks again. And then I'll take a video, and the LED stays on. Also, uh, take note of the increased current on the power supply during the video. So it's off now in a picture, and the current just jumps up there. So as a demonstration, I'm gonna take a couple photos of the table here from my vantage point.
and I'll take a video. Now to download the pictures and video, you can take the memory card out, put it in the adapter and put that in your computer, or connect the USB cable um, directly to the module here. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.